How's it going guys? So I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 over here and it has a lock on it and sometimes people try to get in it and they can't, they forget the password or something, you try to access it through like Gmail, try to unlock it and it doesn't happen. So here, this is for Sprint and some of them have different, uh, different like programs set on them. So this one, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I'm, um, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock this. So, see it's locked. I can't get into it. You get like so many tries before it gives you like 30 seconds before you have to try again. And then after that it gives you a couple minutes and then you have to try it again in a few minutes and then it completely locks your phone. So I don't know the passcode on here, which I purposely locked to show you guys how to unlock it. There's no way to bypass this and keep like all your information. Uh, like all your photos and everything there's only like a factory reset unlock which you'll still be able to use the phone afterwards but it'll erase everything like all your contacts all your photos videos everything it'll, it's completely resets your phone so what you want to do in case you can't get into your phone and you need to use this phone because it's a couple hundred dollars what you do is you open it up pull the battery out put it back in and then this basically just uh, turns off your phone completely and you need it off completely in case you have it on you can just do a power off like from the side but I just did it with the battery because it completely re resets the phone so what you want to do click on the volume button the up button hold that hit the home button hold that and then you want to hit your power button and then hold that so your phone will vibrate like once. As soon as you see that blue icon up there, let go of your power button. Keep on holding uh, home button and uh, your power button. And keep on holding it. You'll see that screen. As soon as it goes into that mode, let go of the buttons. And then you access basically the memory of the phone. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. So it gives you a lot of information on what kind of this, what kind of memory and everything this phone has. Basically, this like the settings of the phone. Not everybody gets into this. So then, you use your power button. Try to focus in a little bit. Use your um, volume button to scroll down, and we want to go to wipe data, factor reset. And you can use the power button, I mean the volume button to go up and down. So right there, the one below the highlight, it says wipe, da wipe data, factory reset. That's where I want to go in. And then you hit the, pow uh, the power button to say, yes, that's what I want to do. So then I'll go into this screen and it'll ask you, do you want to delete everything? And you say, delete all user data. And you hit the power button again and now it will automatically start resetting and you have to give it some time give it a couple minutes and it will automatically start okay and then it pops into this menu pops into this menu and it asks you to what you want to do reboot the system you know basically the same thing so you want to go to reboot system now which is the first highlighted thing and you hit the power button again and it'll automatically start resetting the phone and all your data is wiped off now and you'll have full access to the phone but everything will be cleared so be careful before you do this make sure you tried everything your gmail account everything you can ask friends whoever knew your password whatever if you want to keep all your photos and everything because this completely gets rid of all the info you had on the phone so now this is a factory reset, completely wiped everything off the phone, but you'll be able to restart again, I guess. Make the phone usable. So yeah, I'm now powering up. Got to give it a few minutes because it's... And then it's going to take you through all the steps and you'll have to like log into your Wi-Fi and like write your name in it and do different things which is fine you can skip that stuff but still powering up
Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I also have another video on Samsung Galaxy S3, how to fa uh, factory, well it's not really a factory unlock, but it's an unlock, like if you want to switch from AT&T to T-Mobile or whatever, like you want to use a different carrier, you can watch my video and I show you in steps how to do that. And um, it will help you out in case you know you bought a phone off like Craigslist or something for AT&T and you want to use it with a different carrier you can always really easily unlock it and I show you how to do it so see it it takes a couple minutes for the phone to reboot but as soon as it does it will take you through all the steps and it's basically like getting a phone out of the box when you buy it from a carrier store like T-Mobile or 18 tier Sprint like I have here and uh, it will basically take you through all those steps and you can start using your phone thanks a lot for watching again I hope you this video was good for you leave comments thumbs up and thanks again